Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main read, I'm using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis with illustrations by Scott Murphy. And for the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Okay, already shuffled. So, how is this going? I feel like there's two at the top. And then we got some... I feel like there's a bottom card that wants to go there. Okay. That's that feels like it's kinda heavy, and I feel like this is gonna Okay. Alright, so I feel like for Taurus. Well, I'm not sure if we have an overall energy or not, to tell you the truth, because it's kind of trumping itself. I'll show you what it is though, and we can see going forward what it's actually gonna. Because usually the farther I go with the reading, the more the cards explain what they're doing. So you have the um, the Hanged Man with the Page of Wands. And this, this is how they're coming in in your top energy here. So it's kind of like... I feel like this is talking more about the tra traditional Hanged Man energy. Because on this card they're showing here, this Hanged Man is completely bound, can't hear, can't speak, can't see. Um can't do anything, just has to wait for things to move forward for this change to take place. But they're trumping it with the uh, the Page of Wands, which you'll notice the Page of Wands has his ear up and he's listening. And I feel like that's what they're saying here. Even though you can't seem to be moving or do much in this situation, you're listening and this is helping you handle the future. So I feel like what you're listening to is help, helping you handle the future it's preparing you. I don't know where that sound is coming from. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but there seems to be like a car. Oh, there we go. I think it was a car passing. Strange. Hmm. Which is kind of reminiscent of this listening thing here. Like, I feel like maybe that's how this is coming to you. Maybe that's purposeful. Because um, I feel like you might be hearing odd information that you might not know why you're even hearing it. And it may serve you in the long run. Keep that in mind. Especially because that was an awkward moment for me. Because I was just like, I was hearing things in the distance. And I'm like, I'm hearing them over there. And the road's over here. And I'm just like, that makes no sense. But then the car passed. So it must have been echoing off something. I feel like that's the whole point, though. You might not be able to do much to affect the change going on right now. But the information coming to you is going to serve you in the long run. It's going to help you prepare for what you have to go through in the future. It makes it easier for you. So the more alert and aware you are, the easier you can prepare yourself to deal with things that are coming and to see it coming. So you're not so much uh, caught off guard. I feel like it will just be easier for you. Granted, if this reading hits for you. Now, that being said, I do find it ironic that as we go in, we have three cards ushering in this time. The uh, Wheel of Fortune the Six of Pentacles, and then this last card here is the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Wheel of Fortune ha happens. I feel like this is an announcement of what's to come. So even though you're, the, you can't change what's gonna, about to happen, this is the part where you're, you're getting a clue like you need to listen a little closer. And even if things don't seem like they pertain to you, information coming your way is probably going to help you in the long run. Um, so just keep it, keep an open mind and just like, listen, like if things are coming your way and you're thinking, you know, I don't think that really pertains to me, listen anyway, just in case in the future it does actually play into something that you're affected by so that you, you can kind of keep your mind ready for it and be, be prepared for it. That way you can react as necessary or you know a little bit more about it. So it doesn't seem as like uncomfortable as it looks like it might. The Six of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, because all three of these are actually kind of touching each other. One card is kind of like a giving card, and the next card here is feeling like out, out, uh, left out in the cold. So I feel like even though this change is happening, good things are coming. Good things are coming from this, but people are not happy about the changes. And I feel like even though good things are coming, people are more concentrated 
seem to be more aware of what they've lost rather than what they could be gaining. Because I feel like that's how it's being looked at. This is something we could be gaining, but this is something we've definitely lost. I feel like that's kind of how this is coming across. This is how the Wheel of Fortune is feeling. Excuse me. As it comes into this time frame. I am noticing, though, that this is more dipping in the, into the environment. And you seem more, like, open. So I don't feel like you're going the pessimistic route. I feel like you're just kind of, like, taking it one step at a time. And you're understanding that things are changing. And you're seeing what they're saying. Whatever this is, if this is hitting for you. But you're kind of taking it one step at a time. You're not saying good or bad. You're just kind of like, this is happening. And I just have to go with it. I just have to roll with it. And that just seems like how you're going. The environment, though, I feel like there's definitely people around you who are kind of feeling like they've, they've lost out on some things and they're upset about it. But I feel like you're kind of open. you got like an open space up here. You could kind of fall either way, but I feel like you're just kind of taking it one moment by the next just to see how it actually pans out uh, as opposed to what's being said. Okay. I feel like you just kind of have like this... I don't feel like it's good or bad. I don't feel like you're looking at it good or bad. You're just kind of looking at it like it's happening and I just have to go with it and I have to see what actually happens before I can really form an opinion about it. I'm not really, I feel like you're not like, you're not ready to like just judge it based on what you've heard. Even if it came directly from the people making the changes, you like, you want to see what actually happens and then you'll go from there. So I don't feel like you're pessimistic or optimistic. You're just kind of like, let's see what happens and go from there. Okay. Now, this being said, the next thing that goes on here, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, um, which are traditionally fire for me, and I'm going to go that route with these. These are the changes going into effect. I don't feel like it's much after the announcement. Soon after, maybe a week, possibly two at the most, you're seeing these changes going to effect and I feel like there's a lot of care being put um, into these changes someone's enforcing them but with a lot of care that's kind of what I'm getting here uh, the queen here is making sure things are getting done I wouldn't get caught up in the gender of the card but somebody is making sure things are being done they're taking great care but they're also taking great force when necessary to make sure things do go forward it's not I feel like they're treating it like this is not an option, this needs to happen, and this is what we're going to do. They're being as caring as possible, but they are making sure that things get done. Um, there's a lot of help here. I feel like anything you have to deal with that might be a little rough for you, or you might be a little confused or questioning, the support is there. The Queen of Wands is making sure you have the support you need. So I feel like this is a helpful environment where you are getting the support you need. Again, I'm getting this moment where I feel like information may be coming to you and you're feeling like some of it doesn't pertain to you. I feel like in the long run it will, though. So you want to keep uh, your ears open and just like absorb it and just maybe when necessary think about it, but absorb it so you know you have a bigger understanding about what's going on because I do feel like it's going to affect you at some point. I don't feel like anything is coming, with you, coming at you haphazardly. All right, are we good? Okay, so that being said... There's a lot going on here after this. Now, when it comes to you, I am noticing that you have the Empress in your next line of action. The Empress is going on here, and I feel like you're doing okay, but you're noticing other people are having a harder time with this change. I don't know if you really are. Um, I feel like you're kind of one foot in front of the other. You're working through it. Um, but I'm also feeling like you're kind of aware that some people are not doing as well. And I'm going to get to that at the end here because uh, I'm seeing some problems in the environment. But I'm not feeling like you're having the biggest problem. I feel like people around you or you're noticing some problems around you going on. And you're concerned and you're aware. But you are I feel like you're just kind of you're caught up in doing your own thing because you, you have to take care of what's changing in your respect. You can't really help anybody else unless you know what you're doing or you have what you have. You have what you have to do down first. And you're very well aware of that. So you're trying to stabilize what you have to handle. And you can't really... It's not that you don't want to help other people, but you just don't have that standing yet where you really can do that successfully. So you're right now you're trying to get your own foothold. And you're doing that. You're aware of other people, but you're just like, I don't know what to, I don't know how to fix that right now, so I can't help you. I have to you know, concentrate on what I'm doing because I don't really have the strongest handle on that right now, and I need to be a lot stronger with it. So I'm concentrating on that right now. And I feel like that's how you're handling it. 
not that you don't want to help somebody else, but I don't feel like you have the you're not able to because you don't know exactly what they're doing and you're still learning what you have to do for this change. Okay. Now, I'm noticing there's also like, there's a couple cards for you here. You have the Justice card in your mindset. You have the Ten of Wands. Um, they're at the bottom of the deck, which means there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of burdens here. There's a lot of burdens. The justice is working out. I feel like you could take a pessimistic turn if you want to, but I feel like it's up to you. Like, it's up to you. You can either look at it like it's a very tough thing to do and it's going to work out in the long run, or you could take that pessimistic look. Uh, I would, um, I'm thinking though, it's just going to take some while to sit, settle in. I'm not seeing like it's going to be bad. I do have the justice card here as well, which I think I just showed you. I do have the justice card here, so it is going to work out fairly, but it's going to take some work because there's some changes here that you're getting used to, and I'm showing you the back of a card. There we go. It's up to you as though if, if you're going to see it as a half full or half empty, because at this point is where I feel like you're starting to actually have an opinion in the sense of like how you feel where how you feel about where it's going. In the beginning, you wanted to see what actually takes root before you were like looking at the optimistic or pessimistic outcome. But now that it's kind of taken root a little bit, now you're like, all right, I see where this is going to work out. We're good. Or you're kind of like, oh, this is going to be a train wreck and it's just going to get worse. Whichever way you view it, I'm feeling like justice is coming and you are, you are going to be okay going forward. But you like if you look at the optimistic side, it'll work out easier for you. If you take the pessimistic side, you're going to have some stress that you don't really need. And I'm also going to acknowledge, because I am noticing this, between the two, there are some, there's some bumps going on. There's some bumps going on. People are having a hard time. Some people might be let go because of rough moments. And I don't feel like you should be one of those people. You should not be one of those people is what I'm getting. But um, that could, like if you, I feel like this, you should be fine. But it's like, realizing that you can only control what you're handling and you, you can't get involved with other things because you don't know what's going on with, with other things. Um, and the, the Hierophant with the recovery here, I feel like it's taking some time for you to get used to it. It's like the pleasure, the pain, the present, and the, um, the whip there. It's taking you some time and you're still learning and still getting it down. And there's a recovery period here for you to you know, get back in line with how things need to be done now and regain that stability that you've once had before. So things are going back to that direction where you're going to feel more comfortable. The thing that has you maybe on the more pessimistic side is what's going on in the environment. Because I feel like there are some people who are pushing back. you got the King of Swords, you have the, um, the Seven of Swords, and you got the Three of Swords. So some people are having a hard time. They're pushing back. I feel like some people are getting let go. Some people are leaving. Um, there's some discord here. Um, compromise is on the top of this, which means some people, I feel like there might be some people getting demoted or one of the compromises is people, some people just might resign and leave. Um, but definitely there are some problems here you're seeing around you. I feel like there's things around you that might not be clear. You're just seeing like somebody's desk is empty or things like that and people are talking and just assuming the worst but maybe what actually happened and what's perceived to have happened aren't exactly the same thing. This is where you might start getting that pessimistic outlook, watching what's going on around you. Because I feel like you're adjusting and you're getting things together with what you have to handle and you're going to be fine going forward but this going on around you is what's affecting you. This could put you into a pessimistic mood. Um, if you just look at what you're doing and how you're succeeding and you're getting a hold of things and things are actually going to improve going forward, I feel like you're going to be okay. It's stressful right now, but it's going to a better place and it's going to get better going forward. It might take a while, but you're going to get there. It's just looking at the environment around you and feeling a little uncomfortable with that that might cause a problem. It might cause you to be a little bit more pessimistic. I feel like there's things going on around here that you're not really privy to everything that's happening, as in the reasoning or what's actually happening behind closed doors. I feel like you're getting partial information um, and you're 
it's just I don't think it's clear what's actually happening as opposed to just the outcomes you're seeing. You're seeing the outcome, and the outcome is the outcome, like empty desks or whatever is going on in that sense. But like the reasoning behind it, how it got to that point, like did they just let that person go or was there some type of problem? Did that person have a problem with what's going on and then it just couldn't be worked out and they left? Because I don't feel like whatever's going on around you where people might be leaving the situation, I don't feel like that's going to happen to you. I don't feel like that's something for you to handle. I just feel like it's the worry because you're seeing it going on around you. It causes a little bit of anxiety. Um, and I feel like you just need to be aware of that because I don't feel like this happens to you, but I feel like the worry is there just because you're, it's kind of upsetting to see it happen. All right, so I, I do see it going better in the future, and I, I guess we already did talk about the outcome is this part, the hierophant with the recovery. Um, it's working it out. It's Things are going to be going better. The more you get used to it, the more you're going to recover from this change, the better it's going to be. It's going to take some time for you to get used to it again, but you will get to that point again. I feel like the outcome is just saying, you know, hold on and you'll be okay. Just be careful not to get too involved or influenced by the environment, even though that might be hard in some situations, but it's basically saying just be aware that total information is not coming towards you. So the real reason things are happening, I feel, is being kind of held back for whatever reason. And it's hard to really have a proper view of it without knowing the full information. So I feel like if you just if you just look at it that way, like everything that happened in that situation you're not privy to, it may help you just kind of move on from it and just try to keep an optimistic outlook for yourself. Okay, we're good? Yes. All right, I'm going to wrap that up there. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.